A brand new pair of TSO 50s have given Toyota Gazoo Racing the early lead in the WEC manufacturer standings after an action-packed season opener at Silverstone that saw a Porsche pancake and Audi's race-winning car excluded. While rivals faltered, it was a promising start for Toyota, who built their car from the ground up to take on LMP1's big guns. At its unveiling at Circuit Paul Ricard, Anthony Davidson took us through the specifications of the new machine. This is the new uh, Toyota TSO 50. It's the new challenger for this 2016 season. Last year's car was just an evolution of the, the championship winning TSO 40. After the disappointments of last year, we had to scrap it all, build a totally new car. So a new hybrid technology going from supercapacitor to batteries, going from the, uh, the original V8, uh, normally aspirated engine that started the program in 2012, uh, to the all new V6 turbo engine that we run today. And a brand new chassis, new aerodynamics, and even the steering wheel is new. So uh, only the drivers are the, uh, the, old, the old bits. The radical new bodywork of the TSO 50 will improve aerodynamic performance over the whole car, as well as cooling the new powertrain, consisting of the new V6 twin turbo engine and Toyota's dual axle energy recovery system, which works under braking and boosts output to a combined 986 horsepower. We're running the front and rear motors to harness the kinetic energy under the braking, so circuits like uh, Le Mans or Bahrain, the real heavy braking circuits lend itself well to this system. They're big motors, they almost weigh as much as me, but that's not much I guess, but <laughs> it's uh, you know one at the front, one at the rear, one at the front does most of your braking to start off with when the load goes forwards, but then you've got the rear motor as well um, to take you deeper into the corner. The TSO 50's predecessor won five out of eight races to win the 2014 championship, but after last season's disappointments, Toyota hope their new LMP1 hybrid will be competitive for this year's campaign. For us, you know, the World Championship has been won already in 2014. We did a great job that season. We had the fastest, most reliable car, and we want to get back there. And that's why we've had such a fast-tracked approach through the winter, you know, to basically doing six months what we should have been doing over two years, uh, bringing everything together, you know, with a new engine and new battery system. That should have been trickle-fed through one year to the next. But seeing how far back we were last year, we knew that we had to fast-track that. So it's been a, a tall order for everybody back at base in Japan and the guys in TMG as well. But you know, you can see the car behind me, they've done it, it's there in the flesh, it goes well, it gives the driver a good feedback behind the wheel, and hopefully it's enough. We're gonna keep that new design concept going, and we're hoping to uh, mix it with the, uh, the, the finest in LMP1 for this season.